Hello and welcome to F4 Discover Free video tutorial. If you want to know about F4 Discover Free, you can go to our website www.isenka.com slash Nodino Robotics slash F4 Discover Free. In here, you can find all information that you need to know about F4 Discover Free. If you would like to buy, there are two products available. One is a complete kit of F4 Discover Free and the other one is F4 Discover Free board only. So let's get started to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create a new project and in that project, we will try to write a simple program to turn on and off an LED. So we have here F4 Discover Free connected to a USB cable to a computer and from the computer, we can program, debug, and upload the firmware back to M4 Discover Free. So before you can build the, pro the pro program, you need to have simple template. You can download simple template from our website. And what we need from simple template is to copy my project to somewhere else. For example, I create a new folder, F4 Discover Free, and I copy my project and put it inside F4 Discover Free. Next, we go to open Eclipse IDE. Eclipse IDE will ask you for the location of the workspace, and you need to point that to the newly created folder F4 Discover Free. So now we are inside Eclipse IDE. I close the welcome message. And everything is empty here since it is a new workspace. So let's create a new project. Go to Project Explorer and right click. We create a new C project. Put the name as my project and select the project type as an empty makefile project and click finish and there you go you have a new project created now right click on my project and go to properties under C or C++ build go to environment and add a new variable path and you need to point this path to where you install the toolchain. And add one more variable. Open OCD underscore share. And point that to where you install the open OCD share. There you go. You can click apply and close the window. Now the last thing that you need to do is to create new make targets. So go to make target perspective and click this icon. First target is all. Second target is burn FD2232D. And the last one is clean. When you click this small arrow, you can see that all three targets are created here. Now you go to my project, open USR, and double click user.c. As you can see here, under setup function and loop function, there's nothing but comments. So we will try to write a, a simple program here. Under setup function, we configure LED1. So type let config LED1. 
and under the loop function we will turn on and off the LED so you type let on LED1 and then sleep 1000 let off LED1 and sleep 1000 so what happened here is actually we we configure LED1 under setup and then we try to turn on the LED1 for one second and then turn it off for another one second and it keeps repeating this way so what we will see later on is on the for discovery free is a blinking LED so let's save the project and and build it by double clicking all and here we have a live view on a live live webcam view on F4 Discover Free. So while programming and debugging, we can see what happened in real time on F4 Discover Free. Okay, so our binary is already created. Now we burned it by clicking burn FT2232D. Two, There you go. Now we have a blinking LED, as you can see it on the screen. So that's how easy to program on F4 Discover Free. So I hope you enjoy F4 Discover Free, and see you in the next tutorial.